Close your eyes for a second. Everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes. Imagine the word of God without religious groupies. Imagine a savior born in a Mexican hoopty. Persecuted single mother in a modern manger. You crucify him again like a fucking stranger. Tears and anger are worth more than diamonds or rubies. Imagine being locked up since juvie. Imagine changing your life and still going out like Tootie. Imagine niggas talking shit when they never knew me. Imagine a movie that depicted the pain in your life like them kids in Afghanistan chasing a kite. For most of the world, that's what it's like. Imagine how you thought you're supposed to love for the rest of your life. You said to marry someone else at the end of the night. They say you fight the greatest jihad in your heart and your mind. And fight the hardest when you start from behind. Fuck a Masonic design, America's future is mine. Repeat that to yourself, cause the culture's a crime. Them numbers tatted on your arm aren't too far behind. They can only conquer you after they know you're your mind. So rise up, motherfucker, like the sign of the times. I feel my body weakening, but my spirit is fine. Ready to go to war with devils at the drop of a dime. Fight with my rebel army until the stars are aligned. Cause most of Thomas was a white man's prophet who predicated European supremacist logic. Because the pilgrims and the cop keys to the columns killed more innocent people than Hitler and Stalin. Fortune teller skip the anti-Christ or two. Brother, give this to the OGs doing life with you. And pray for the problems with the Pope's psychology. So the Vatican will offer an apology. For what? For destroying the people's liberation theology. Snatching the spirit of Jesus from people in poverty. Business decisions like keeping people in prison. But had the opposite effect incarcerating religion. That type of truth in politics imposed on the populace is obvious. If you read the Northwood documents, forget the compliments for what I recorded and live for revolution instead of what I died for. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Immortal Technique. I am the MC, which means I'm the baby of hip hop. I came last. Before me was the craft writer and the b-boy. Shout to everybody keeping the culture of hip hop alive. Completely different. A way of lifestyle of honoring our ancestors and the people that originated humanity that we have lost. The earth does not belong to us, we belong to the earth, motherfucker. But let's keep it a thousand. And let's talk about who came first. Before the graph writer, before the B-boy, before the MC, hip hop started with the motherfucking DJ. Yeah. So I want you to make some noise right now for the resident Puerto Rican. <laughs> Fingertip assassin. Rockin' the uh, the crazy dreadlocks right now, representing the Supreme Beings of Rebel Arms. Make some noise, Sonic Connect Zone, world famous, the one and only DJ G.I. Joe.
Yeah.